Hey guys, it's Nate from SpicyNaturalFilms.com. Now today we're going to be doing a tutorial on <clears throat> how to do an HP hands commercial. How these commercials go, say they have someone and uh, they like interact with the computer screen. So like if they want to maybe open a window, they like go like this and the window will show up and then they like flick it out and stuff. Um, that's what we're going to be doing. So let's get started. The first thing you need is a green screen or blue screen. Um, if you don't know anything about blue screen or, or grease, eh, blue screen or green screen, uh, there'll be links in the sidebar, so you can check those out. Um, then, depending on if you're using a blue or green screen, if you're using a blue screen, try to wear uh, a shirt that's like not anything green or not anything. Try making it like an opposite color. Like, so I'm using green right now, so I'm wearing a blue shirt because. We're going to need to use our shirt actually to key, like to get a mat for our hands so we can like flick stuff around and all that good nice stuff. Um, and then you need lighting which is important to make it look good. So as you can see I have a uh, just a single light over here. It's diffused on my uh, green screen. So that should be good. Now, the framing of your shot is pretty important for this. The commercials are shot like this. We have your neck down to like your uh, waistline, sort of there. And then they just talk, go like this. So we'll start out where we'll just take our hands, we'll be like this, go to a point, and we'll just make a box. So I'll do that again so it's just like that. Now we're going to use our fingers as reference points for the box to come out. So you, you could do it with the fingers or you could go like corners so you could be like, or like, I don't even know, like that. I don't know. So we'll just try that effect. Now when we go back in After Effects, we're going to need to keyframe a bunch of different things like position, size or scale, um, rotation, X, Y, and Z probably. So uh, let's check that out. All right, guys. So now we're in After Effects. And here, let me play back this example. So it'll be something like that. This is a pretty rough, rough cut, um, but I'll give you the basics. So first thing I did, I'll break this down for you. First thing I did was key out the background, and then I keyframed um, this image that I got, and I just stuck it to my fingers. So we'll start out with a new comp. And just start out with your raw footage of you doing whatever with your fingers, and uh, now you have to select the image that you want. I have this um, image of my name that I rendered out of uh, Cinema 4D, so bring that to the comp. Um, this is actually uh, a 2K format, so I'm gonna have to scale it down. So just scale it to you know a reasonable size. And then you're gonna select your picture or video or whatever, go to Effect, distort corner pin now what the corner pin effect allows you to do is take a selected point and then drag it and it will bend your image you will like distort it this weird funky way and it will make it stick to your fingers like that so the first thing you need to do is make sure your um, your timeline slider is at the beginning of the comp and you're gonna come up here and just click on these little stopwatches these stopwatches enable uh, keyframing. So once you've done that, select this little um, pointer button on upper left, and just come over to where your finger, where your first finger is, and just drop it. Just click it right on there. Let me zoom in. As you can see, this the corner of the image is now stuck to my finger. So we could take the upper right one and go to the second finger, and then lower left and then lower right as you can see the image is now really really small and it's stuck to my fingertips right around here now the next thing you need to do is move the next frame because when you keyframe things you have to do it frame by frame so come over here to your time controls and you're gonna hit the next frame button so hit next frame 
and now you have to do the same exact thing so I'll go upper left and uh, you just have to move it with your fingers so upper right and then lower left lower right and the next frame and then on and on and on until you have the final result so now that you're done keyframing and you have your image the way you want it to be um, we're gonna change a few things now if you didn't change anything we're gonna come into your opacity option so click your image and click T on your keyboard and that'll bring up the opacity options so as you can see if you scrub through it you can see that yeah it looks nice but it doesn't really look like a computer screen because you can't see through it so we're just gonna bring down the opacity until it looks like sort of like uh, transparent and uh, yeah that's it so now the next thing would be to key out um, your background and then put a black background now we're gonna be working on the flick effect where say there's a window and uh, you have it like in your fingers and you like flick it off the screen let's do that so again we're gonna use the same framing as before so it's just gonna be like this and uh, I don't know just take your fingers and like make it look like you're holding something so I can just use your pointer finger and your thumb put it together like this and then just flick it off just flick it off something like this just be like or just be like something like that and uh, when we go back in After Effects we're gonna be mainly manipulating the uh, rotation properties rotation and position so we can get it look like it's spinning off or like flicked off so now we're back in After Effects and we're gonna be doing the flick now as you can see we have our raw footage of the f me flicking my fingers so we're gonna bring in that same um, same image from the uh, the previous effect again scale it down and uh, you know that's, I think that's a pretty good size so find a spot in your footage right before you flick now mine is right here so I'm just gonna move my image down to where I think I would be holding it and now moved it down there so now I'm gonna click R while selecting the image to bring up my rotation properties I'm just gonna rotate it a little bit so it looks like I'm holding it in my hand so just move it alright close it now to really sell this effect you need to have overlap so we'll turn this layer off and we'll make a duplicate copy of our of our flick footage. So s highlight your footage, hit Control D or app or uh, Command D if you're on the Mac, and then bring your duplicate footage on top of your uh, your video or image. So we can turn that back on, and now come up here to the Pen tool. And as you can see right here, you can see my thumb right here, and that's we want the overlay there. So just I'm going to outline my finger like so I mean just enough so that you get your pinky alone or your thumb rather and as you can see my one it looks sort of looks like fingers crossing over um, but now we need to lower the opacity of the image so we can actually see the thumb so highlight or uh, select your image and hit T on your keyboard and it'll bring up your opacity uh, just bring this down again to something that looks good so I'm gonna put mine about 46 and uh, now you can sort of see the thumb behind the image and uh, now we have to select image and go to your mask properties so click M on the keyboard it'll bring up your mask properties and then use this little drop arrow and we're gonna tick the keyframe icon for mask path and mask expansion.